at the end of this month you will be assigned the case studies so there is few sessions left in the training session and these will be very important for your case study so kindly pay attention in these sessions subfile will be covered in upcoming sessions so today we will only discuss about uh, display files you need to complete the case study on your own because during the if you are selected for the interview you'll be asked questions based on the case study at that time you should have the knowledge of that so it's better if you prepare that on your own For the pattern question, uh, if you are facing issue with the logic, then you have to work out, work that on your own. And uh, if there is any kind of issue, then you can ping in the Skype group also. So I think we are well to proceed with today's sessions. So today's session is about the display files. You can till now we were more into the back end of the RPG language, how we can write the programs and what are loops and how we can proceed with the SQL statements in our program. Now we'll take a look at the display files, which is basically the UI which we can create in the RPG language. So today's session will be taken by Gaurav. Gaurav, you can take over. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, let me know when my screen is visible. Yeah, it is visible. Oh uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to the PIO internship program. Uh, myself Gaurav and today I'm going to present about the overview of a display file window and a prompt functionality. It means how we use the display file in our program. So let's get started. So today's agenda is uh, introduction of display file and how we create the display file using the SDA command. There are how many types of record in the display file, how we create the labels and fields in display file, uh, how we arrange and move the labels and fields in display file and uh, difference between the CA and the CF function keys. Yeah. So first one is introduction of display file. So display files are a DDS file and it enables us to create the AS400 menus and screens to interact with the user. Display file can have several records and each record defines part of the screen appearance. Yeah. The SD applications allow us to draw, uh, draw what should upon the screen and create the DDS code from our drawing. Uh, in the next screen, we will see that how we create the DDS and afterward we look some code exp experts because sometimes it's easier to alter the screen through its codes. Okay. So yeah, uh, how we create the display file using the SDA command. So first I show all the step. Then uh, after this, I will show you the practical part. So to open the SDA, we can use the, we can type the str SDA command on the prompt. After that, we can choose the option one and the write the source file library and the member name as per our own. Now, after pressing enter, a new screen will appear where we have to add the record and give the name. And after checking enter on that screen, we have to specify the record type. 
and after given the record type we will get we we, we will have one empty screen where we can draw yeah so we can go for the practical session now here we can take the str sda command after taking enter we have these three options so we for the creation of a screen we can take one now here we have to specify our uh, library our source physical file then library then the name of the display file so here i am giving the name of the display file yeah after taking we can take enter yeah now here in the option we have to enter one and the name of the record so here i am entering the name of the record okay after entering the record we have one screen here we have to specify the record type initially uh, it's a record so after taking enter we have this screen so here we can add the labels field and all the things yeah moving to the next screen so these are the record types which we have for the design the tspf record where we can record the normal screen where we can enter the data and all so window uh, window is information that uh, overlays the part of the display and uh, window is typically called as smaller than the actual workstation display and uh, and can be positions anywhere on the screen so next is the sfl sfl is used to display the list of all the records and it also have the page up and page down and window subfile is just like the sfl but in the uh, smaller but it is a smaller workstation yeah and the sfl message is used to display the message for the subfiles and the next one is the menu bar menu bar is used to create the menu for our program then the user defined you use this record level uh, to specify that the data for this record is in the form of user defined data stream mainly we can use the first six so yeah i'm going to the next screen yeah so how we create the labels and field on that screen so for creating the label we can write label text in the apostrophe and for creating field we have this syntax that first we have to take the plus sign then we have to take the type and the size in the parenthesis so for uh, for creating the character type labels we have to use uh, fields we have to use i for input o for output and b for both so in the input field only we can take input from the user in the output we can take on we only display the data and in the both field we can take input as well as uh, give output to the user now i can show you that how we create the fields and the label so yeah here i need to create the label so i can write the apostrophe then i'm writing the label text now close and after taking enter it will create it now i want to move that to the left side so i will take greater than sign and take enter then it will move for the moving to the left i will take the lesser than sign yeah uh, now i want to want that no i do i want that data in the second line so i can take minus sign then in at which line we have to move then we can take at equal to sign and take enter so it will move there and i i just want to copy this same then i can take same like that minus sign sorry now i want to copy the same text at the top of the page so i will take here double equal to so see the copy will made now i want to delete this then i will use d in front of the label after taking enter it will delete it there are some uh, inbuilt functions which for creating the labels like i want to create user i want to get user detail so i will take 
has tick and then I will type user. So it will tick the user user here. Now for same like that for time. And for the date, we can use this function. There is one shortcut key for aligning these to the center. That means we have to write A and uh, C on the label's first character. And after taking enter, it will align to the here. Now I want to change the color of this label text. Then I take a strict and then enter. Now I will go to the color and take Y. After taking enter, I want that in the blue color. So I will take here one. After taking enter, it will change to the blue color. So now I'm showing that how we create the fields. So here I'm writing the. Like employee ID. And the employee name. So now I want to create one integer field with the in take which take inputs and display output. So I will take nine and the size of the field. So I just want to four. So yeah. Now I've created the name field. So I want that in the both mode and that one is of character field. Yeah. Also, there are some indicators for that. Uh, yeah. I take a strict. From here, we can go to the editing keyword. Now we take F1. Then here are lots of uh, edit keys for as you want. Then we can use four for that no commas or no zero. Sorry, now take enter Then see that minus sign will go. Now I want to give the name to this field then we can give to the first D1 then the name of field EMP ID like that. I want to give the name to this field. So we can give D1 EMP name. Okay. Like that. Now I now there are a reverse image and indicators so I can show you which we are mainly used. This indicator is a reverse image indicator. Whenever we have error in that screen, then we can on that uh, indicator. So for that, for using that, we can type here Y and then the number you can want. Uh, just ignore 1 to 24 as we have that function keys from 1 to 24. So I can take 25 here. And the non-display indicator is used when we want, we don't want to display that data. So I can take that. Underline is used when we just don't want to the so that underline which was uh, under our lib under our field. That is 27. Position cursor is also used when we have an error. So it will directly take you there when we on that. On which field we have an error. So yeah. Uh, this protected field is used when we have a both type of uh, field and we don't want to take enter any value from the user then we you when we on that field that indicator yeah so all indicators are done see the, now this field is not visible to you because the non non display is on for that now here we can add also the function key f3 equal to exit And there is one shortcut for changing the color of uh, label. So we can type here C 
and overlap the first digit of a label. So I want this to the blue. So C and B. See the color is changed. Now I can show you that how we can take uh, add the function keys here. So now I can save this. Take F3 here and save. Now in the option, take eight. Now here indicator keyword take C A zero three. In the next upcoming slides, I can show you the difference between the C A and the C F. So that uh, keyword is updated in R that. So now going to the next. Yeah. So this one is we already discussed that how we arrange the labels and field. We can use uh, smaller sign to uh, moving that to the left and the greater than sign for the right. And for moving that from up or down, we can use minus sign. And where we want to use, uh, move that, we can use that equal to sign, right? So yeah. So that difference between the CF and the CX. So the CF is stands for that command attention key. And it does not read the value from the screen. Whereas we CF stand for the command function key and it reads from the screen. So if you want to read the value from the screen while using a function with, with using a function key, such as if you take F equal to add a record, then define that key as a CF 06. Otherwise, if you define that as a CA06, then it will not take the value from this your screen. Yeah. So now I can show you that how we create the window. For that, we can take option one here and give the name to the window. And here we take enter here. Now the record type is window. After that, we can add some general keywords here. We can add the window border. So this actual line means the top margin. That, uh, so I use that as a five. And that actual position is a left margin that uh, how much gap we have to put that in the left. And that window line is the, we can say in the easy way is the height of the window. Just I want the 15 rows and I want 10 columns or 15 columns. So yeah, now I want to give the border color. So I want to give that blue and as a reverse image. And here we can remove all this now take enter here also by the same way taking it and we can add the indicator like c a 3 take 12 to go inside that oh, sorry Wait a minute. Okay, here we have to take Y, not one. And here also we have to take Y. So see, our window is ready. So now I can use, so that how we use this uh, record record in our program. Okay, so I'm taking F3, F3 and saving that. Yeah. So when I created this sample program for that, first I can show you with the browse mode and then I can explain it. So here, 
I actually, I here I define that uh, display file with the name of the stud D and wait a minute, I can show you that in the, yeah. So yeah, the file name is stud and the, we have to use the file type as a C and designation as F and in the device type, we have to use the workstation. Now we can move to the next line. Here you can see that I write on that uh, it will it will display till the that indicator 0, 03 is off. It will on when we press F3. Now after coming to that inside this loop, we can get that record. And here also I added the validation for that. So I created that uh, validation subroutine. So now after coming down that this one is the error field on that screen. So when it is blank, then it will add the record in the RPF. So here, here are some validations for that, that uh, student ID name, date of birth cannot be blank. And also we have to enter the valid date of birth. So wait, I can show you by the call. So after calling that, So this screen I created before. So see, if I take enter, then it will, the reverse image will on and it will show that a student ID cannot be blank. So here I'm adding the ID as a 103. Now I'm taking enter, then it will show that a student name cannot be blank. So I'm entering the name. After taking enter, that uh, date field cannot be blank and the date will be entered as a MMDDYY format. So here, if I are entering the wrong date, then see what will happen. It will give error for the right date. So yeah, please enter valid date of birth. So if I enter the valid date of birth, then I take enter, then record with edit. So here we have a message that record edit successfully. So this is the one piece uh, display file. So now I can show you that how we Yeah, here we have one file where we can add, edit and delete the employee and also display the details of that employee. So here you can see after the, if I take a one, then the add employee screen will open. Now here I enter the ID, the name. So this is the prompt functionality. If I take here F4, then the window will open with the genders. So here, from here, we want to select the mail, then we can take X here and then take enter. So see, mail will auto populated here. So now here we have to enter the salary. Yeah. So after, so after taking enter on this screen that nothing will happen. Because here we have one option that F6 equal to add, then we have to take F6. After taking F6, then record it. Because we have this ID also already inserted, then it will show the duplicate ID. Then I can add this. So after taking F6, the record will edit and we can we come out of that screen. So now I want to edit that record, then I can take two options here. Sorry, one, two, one, one, I think. So. Yeah. So see, uh, now I'm unable to change the ID because it is uh, now it is protected. And see, the underline is also not visible because I just turned off the indicator. Now just I want to change the name of Ramesh. to the Rani and also I just I want to change the gender so I can take F4 here. Sorry. 
I think it's not working here. We can change the gender as here female and we after taking enter, it will nothing go where because we have to take F6 to uh, update the record. Yeah, so the record is updated successfully. Now I want to display that uh, details of employee so I can enter the here. One, two, one, one, sorry. So yeah. Here you can see we we are unable to change the any record because that one is the in the display mode only. So we can see here only the record. Here I turn on the protected and uh, underline keyword off and protected keyword on. And before that, see before that all the fields are not visible because I just uh, turn on the non-display indicator. It will only off once I get the employee ID in our table. So now I want to delete that record so I can take option three here. It will one, two, one, one. So see, after after taking enter, then rec uh, details of that record is uh, available here. And after taking F8, then we will receive one more window that do you want to delete that employee detail? If here I take yes, then it will delete that record. If I take no, then it will come out and give the error message like that. Uh, uh, Deletion process is cancelled by user. So here I take a yes. And after taking enter, it will record, it will delete that record. So now I will check that the record is deleted or not. See that record is deleted. So now I can show you that how we use that uh, uh, indicated data structure in our program. So see here I use that INDTS and the give the name of the data structure like DS1 is my indicator DS. So I use that as DS1. And here are some indicators. These are the name which I use in the program. And it's a indicator value like three for three. I use that exit prompt for F4 like that. And in the display file. Here we have to use one keyword like Indara for using the indicator DS in our program. And also for uh, F4 functionality, we can use one field where we that return cursor location. It will give the cursor location where, where our cursor there. It will give the field name and the record name. So see. I can show you that here. Yeah. So I'm using that indicators. And if you see here, I use that ex it will run the program when till exit is equal to off. And for the X4 uh, F4 functionality. For F4 functionality, I just create the one subroutine for that. Yeah. So for that, first of all, I just clear the error message of that window. Then I there are reverse image and position cursor indicators for the all the three fields. Then I put that in off. And after that, I So the uh, window and there I'm taking the X as a if, if there is X, then it will show the male. And if there is in the X in the second column, then it will show the female to the it directly write the value to the field. Yeah. So. And also we have one more shortcut to create the display file, which I can show you that. 
so yeah i don't want to create the uh, display file with the str hda command then i take f6 here i can give the name of the display file and this uh, i can write the source type as a dspf and it's a test description so yeah. after taking enter this will open then we have to write here file and take enter now here take 17 option for open the sda now from here we can add the record anything so record type so now we can save that now I just want to change anything here, then I can take 12, then this screen will open. So now I want to change the P. So for changing from the here, we first of all, I have to delete, then I have to write that updated name. Right. So I don't want these things, so I can change that quickly with the help of program. So wait, I just write here P. So the location is a two comma six. Okay. So I take here F3, enter. First I can save that here. I can take two and see all the things which I created there, that one written in the program. So I can change here directly. So at the place of P, I just want that PI internship. Take enter now. Enter now. We can save that. Now I can check that changed or not. So see that PI internship is changed. Yeah. So yeah, that's all from my side. All side. If you have any queries, any question, then you can ask. Okay, thanks, Kora, for this wonderful session. If anybody has any questions, they can raise their hands and we'll unmute them and they can ask their questions. Also, the Skype group and the assignment link has been shared in the chat. So you can practice on those assignments and if you face any issues, you can ask us in the Skype group. So if anyone have any kind of query, they can just raise their hand and we will allow them to unmute themselves and they can ask the questions. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Yep. Good evening. Sir, actually, I don't have any question. Uh, just my, I want to say like my college uh, need that offer later. Like uh, they want to give that, uh, show that in the placement committee that I'm doing an internship. But I have not received any offer later from your site. So I want to make a request for that. So uh, actually you have... Uh, do you have sent any email regarding that same? No, I have not uh, emailed regarding that. 
Okay, so uh, you have received uh, the link of the uh, session, uh, sessions link from uh, email address from the HR department. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... yeah, just send an email to them asking for the offer letter, internship letter that you require. Okay, so, so okay. They will assist you for the same. Okay, so thank you so much. Sir. If you have questions regarding the previous sessions as well, so you can ask those questions. No need to hesitate. Just raise your hands. So. Yeah. Sir, so I have mailed regarding the confirmation letter of the internship a long time back, but I have not received any response from your side. Uh, you, uh, just uh, check for the emails in the spam folder or uh in uh, any other folder that you have and if you don't receive uh, any email from that just uh, send an email again and okay, also you can... okay. If you have any query, just uh, raise your hand and we will let you unmute yourself so you can ask the question. It can be either from this session or uh, previous session or maybe assignment uh, in assignment. If you are facing issue, you can ask that also. Okay, I don't think we have any more questions, so I think we can wind up the time. Yeah, okay, so the Skype link and the assignment link has been shared. You can join the Skype link and practice all those assignments. And we'll have a session day after tomorrow. So till then, you can practice on display files and the other sessions. Thanks, everyone, for joining.